Those who've been studying COVID since the start say today's news comes as a surprise, especially since cases continue hitting record numbers. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs continues our team coverage. She spoke with Meharry Medical College President Dr. James Hildreth, who says we just need to fight harder to keep this virus from spreading. The Supreme Court decision comes down as scientists are discovering new variants of COVID-19. And Meharry Medical College President and CEO Dr. James Hildreth says it's important that everyone is vaccinated and boosted. Well, I think the implications of the Supreme Court decision are pretty obvious that we're going to have an even bigger challenge on our hands than we had before, especially with Omicron. The Supreme Court has stopped the Biden administration from enforcing a requirement that employees at large businesses be vaccinated against COVID-19 or undergo weekly testing and wear a mask on the job. I think the decision is a big setback and we just need to brace ourselves for what's going to happen because of it. Dr. Hildreth has been a scientific voice on the fight against COVID-19 from the very beginning of the pandemic. Two years later, the numbers continue to climb. One out of every 33 Nashvilleians is currently infected with COVID-19. So I would encourage everyone to get vaccinated because Omicron may not be the last variant that we have to deal with because they're large groups of people all over the world who are still not vaccinated. Hildreth says this could also mean more booster shots. Imagine if there was a variant that not only had the transmissibility of Omicron, but was more pathogenic than Delta. That would be a real nightmare, and that could possibly happen. We may be two years into the pandemic, but the message from doctors is still the same. There were folks who warned us that this could happen, that if we didn't act quickly and do the right things, this could be a multi-year process, and it's turned out to be. So uh, that's kind of what the science predicted. Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5.